Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shari Aqil. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghudaybiyah Palace a number of the royal family members and state officials. He stressed that the challenges that face the region requires further coordination on all levels and added that consultation among the region's states on the levels of politics, security and economy has become a necessity. The Premier reviewed with the attendees a number of topics concerning local affairs. He praised the qualities of the Bahraini society, adding that they have reinforced the strength of the community in the face of all challenges. He expressed pride in the citizens' sense of responsibility, which has foiled all attempts targeting the security of the kingdom. His Royal Highness also reviewed with the attendees a number of issues regarding the Gulf, where he commended the development of the GCC countries, which have become a global destination for tourism and investment.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Palace, Qatari Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Sheikh Jassim bin Mohammed Al Thani, upon the end of his diplomatic career as Ambassador of his country and the Kingdom. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted the deep-rooted Bahraini-Qatari relations and the development it witnessed in various fields. The Prime Minister expressed his fulfillment with the course of the Bahraini-Qatari relations and its development, as well as its effect on the level of bilateral cooperation between the two countries. His Royal Highness also expressed pleasure for meeting with Sheikh Jassim on the sidelines of the Gulf Cooperation Council GCC Summit. He also stated that the importance of such meetings is to support joint cooperation. The Prime Minister praised the efforts of the Qatari Ambassador in reinforcing the relations between the two countries and supporting bilateral cooperation in various fields. His Royal Highness asked Sheikh Jassim to convey his greetings to the Emir of Qatar and the Prime Minister and Interior Minister Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser Al Thani and wish Qatar further progress and prosperity. The Qatari ambassador expressed pride in the Prime Minister's keenness on supporting the Bahraini-Qatari relations and broadening the horizons of the cooperation and coordination between the two countries in various fields. He also praised the support he, he has received from His Royal Highness throughout his tenure in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the BBA Palace the President of the Bahrain Basketball Association, the BBA, Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, who introduced His Royal Highness the President of the Arabic and Emirate Basketball Association, Ismail Al Qarqawi. During the meeting, His Royal Highness affirmed sports role in spreading noble human values, adding that it should be employed to redirect energies towards development and intercultural coexistence. The Prime Minister noted that the BA, BA's efforts in managing and developing basketball and wished the association and its affiliates further success and progress and also expressed desire to strengthen the cooperation and coordination between the BBA and the Arabic Basketball Association, which reflects positively on developing the game in the Kingdom. He also highlighted that this cooperation will reinforce the advanced levels behind sports has reached related to basketball. The President of the Arab Basketball Association expressed thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for the reception and praised the development of basketball in Bahrain. He also affirmed the association's keenness on developing cooperation with Bahrain. He then presented His Royal Highness with Arab Basketball Association trophy. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa today met the President of the Arab Thought Foundation, His Royal Highness Prince Khalid Al Faisal in Abu Dhabi. The meeting took place following His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's participation at the 15th Fikr Conference in Abu Dhabi on Arab Integration, the Cooperation Council for the Arab States of the Gulf and the United Arab Emirates, and is being held under the patronage of the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. During the meet, the Crown Prince highlighted that traditional cultural and intellectual history work to enrich people's knowledge and serve as vital tools for advancing regional development and prosperity. He emphasized the key role the Arab Thought Foundation plays in facilitating dialogue among distinguished Arab thinkers on ways to improve regional integration. He praised His Royal Highness Prince Khalid for his work in supporting Arab thinkers and driving initiatives that focus on Arab cultural enrichment and creativity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince concluded by stressing the importance of continuing to introduce meaningful steps that support regional development goals which facilitate innovative opportunities across the region. His Royal Highness Prince Khalid expressed his appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for participating at the 15th Fikr Conference in Abu Dhabi and delivering an address during a panel session on the role of the GCC.
The Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Council of Education and Training, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, inaugurated today a new building for Science and Technology in Bahrain Bayan School. Present were the Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Saleh, a number of ministers, senior officials, Chairman of the School Board, Dr. Sheikh Hamay Al Atebi, and a number of board members. The Deputy Premier toured the building, which was equipped with high-level robots and science laboratories. He hailed the development of Bayan School over the past years since its establishment in 1982 as a school that teaches courses in both Arabic and English languages to its students, which resulted in its winning the Best School for Teaching Arabic and English Award in the International Education Conference in Dubai. He also praised the level of education in Bahrain and stressed the government's keenness in supporting it, stating that education is one of the major pillars of development. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, praised Bayan School's efforts in developing its facilities as to benefit its students, adding that the Ministry of Education urges all schools to provide the students with the highest levels of education in order to prepare them for the future. The chairman of the school board expressed joy in inaugurating the building which is the first of its kind among private schools in Bahrain, commending the efforts of all school board members and faculty in establishing such a building that meets international academic standards. She added that the building will offer applied and theoretical curriculum to the students in order to develop their innovation and creativity.
The Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa patronized the exhibition, exploring stories and meetings from 200 years of Bahraini British relations, which was held by the Bahrain Culture and Antiquities Authority, the BACA. The event was held at the Bahrain National Museum in cooperation with the British Council of the Kingdom of Bahrain, ministers, members of the Shura and Representative Councils, diplomatic corps, and a number of invitees attended the exhibition. On this occasion, Sheikh, Sheikh, rather Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak voiced pleasure in inaugurating the exhibition and expressed thanks for the efforts of the BACA president, Sheikh Hamid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa's efforts in presenting Bahrain as a destination for culture and civilization under the theme Bahrain, your destination. He also thanked all those who contributed in organizing and preparing the event, which reflects two centuries of historic outstanding relations between Bahrain and the UK. Sheikh Mohammed lauded the high level of bilateral historic and cultural relations linking Bahrain and the UK, adding that the exhibition projects stories and photos that reflect views with regards to the nature of Bahraini-British relations. He added that celebrating 200 years of relations coincides with the noticeable development and enhanced relations through the building of a new chapter of strategic cooperation with true partnership between the two countries, something that was reiterated during the visit of the UK Premier Theresa May and her participation in the Gulf British Summit held in Bahrain last week. He wished the activities of Bahrain Your Destination and the exhibition success. The Deputy Premier also expressed thanks for the, sh rather the British Council's contributions in holding such exhibitions and for its efforts in enhancing cultural cooperation between Bahrain and the UK. For her part, the BACA President highlighted that the exhibition was open for the purpose of enhancing human relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom. She expressed thanks to the Deputy Premier for his support of the cultural activities in Bahrain, adding that such activities will strengthen Bahrain's relations with countries around the world. She also valued the role of the British Council in contributing to the success of this activity in particular and other activities in general. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa has been granted the Social Media Pioneer Award during the Arab Social Media Influencers Summit, ASMIS, which was held in the United Arab Emirates, Dubai. His Highness Sheikh Nasser has been presented the award by the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Governor of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, in the presence of Dubai's Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Minister of Interior, His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Highness Sheikh Nasser is active on the Arab and international levels in social networks and has been an influential contributor to inspiring youth to serve their countries and promote youth and sports movements. On the occasion, His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid for launching the award, which confirms his support to youth in dealing with the various social media networks which has become the mode of communication in the world. His Highness Sheikh Nasser confirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, pays great attention to the development of information and communication technologies, which has positioned it in the forefront of countries in this regard. Running from the 13th to the 14th of December, this year's ASMIS lineup will bring together leading Arab and international social media influencers. Organized by the Dubai Press Club, these sessions will highlight the importance of ASMIS as an effective platform of using social network platforms in the service of the society. This year's edition includes various styles of sessions, one of which is Darja Chat, which are 15-minute sessions hosting prominent Arab and international social media influencers from various sectors.
Under the patronage and presence of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, an honorary president of the Bahrain Disabled Sports Federation, the BDSF, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the National Day Festival organized by the BDSF for people with disabilities from December 9th to the 12th has concluded. The festival comes as part of the National Day celebrations on December 16th and the anniversary of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's accession to the throne on December 17th. His Highness watched the activities of the festival with the attendance of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, Bahrain Olympic Committee Secretary General Abdul Rahman Sadiq Askar, President of the BDSF Sheikh Mohammed bin Daij Al Khalifa, and several members of the Federation. He affirmed his continued support to Bahrain's youth, especially people with disabilities, to create the ideal atmosphere for them to unleash their talents, which will help them achieve their goals and aspirations. He expressed his appreciation for the efforts of Sheikh Mohammed bin Raij and all BDSF members in organizing programs and activities aimed to integrate people with disabilities in the Kingdom's National Day celebrations. His Highness stressed that the festival gives people with disabilities the opportunity to showcase their sports abilities, which contributes to the development of this game. Sheikh Khalid wished the Bahrain wheelchair basketball team success and their upcoming participation in the GCC Championship hosted by the United Arab Emirates. He crowned the first place winners and wished the rest success in upcoming participations.
Deputy Minister of Interior Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa attended today. The ceremony organized by the ministry on the occasion of the International Anti-Corruption Day in the presence of the Minister of Education, the Prosecutor, Deputy Interior Minister, Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, the Minister of Information Affairs, the Deputy Speaker of the Shura Council, the Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, the Under Secretary for Nationality, Passports and Residence at the Ministry of Interior, the Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Public Security Chief, Ministry of Interior Undersecretary, and a number of officials in the Kingdom. On this occasion, the Interior Minister stated that the Kingdom is keen on celebrating this day annually on the sidelines of its efforts to enhance integrity in combat corruption, based on the Constitution and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's reform project. He noted that combating corruption and preserving public money requires concerted efforts by all segments of society. Sheikh Rashid expressed thanks and appreciation to the General Di Directorate of Anti-Corruption and Economic and Electronic Security for their efforts in facing and reducing corruption crimes in the context of cooperation and effective partnership between the legislative, judicial and executive bodies. On his part, the Director General of the General Director of Anti-Corruption and Economic and Electronic Security, Colonel Balsam al Miraj, affirmed that the success of the Directorate's efforts are a result of the wise guidance of the Interior Minister through the continuous support and facilitation of applying an effective policy that contributes to detecting corruption. The work of the university students who won in the competition for best informer rather informational material to promote awareness of integrity in countering corruption was reviewed. The Interior Minister honored the winners, the sponsors and contributors in the National Anti-Corruption Campaign. And the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, chaired today the weekly meeting. The meeting discussed a letter from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, regarding a draft law on approving a protocol between Bahrain and Turkey's governments regarding air services. The Council approved a proposal on amending the Office of Financial and Administrative Control laws. They also approved a report regarding the Annual Office of Financial and Administrative Control report. They approved issuing a statement on the occasion of the National Day holiday in His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's accession to the throne. The Council also approved issuing a statement on the unfortunate situation in Aleppo and called to provide them with help and aid if they need.